What's going everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a laser grid system for your base or trap base. Let me show you what I got here. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, one thing I noticed with these lasers, you need to keep them within a 2 by area. So what I'm talking about here is 2 squares. That seems to be its max range. Um, hopefully down the line they increase that because I think it should extend further than that. But just keep that in mind. It's gonna get uh, excuse me. It's got to be kind of tight. Uh, with that being said, let me move forward here and show you how to set this up. Now you're gonna have your power source. In this video, I'm using a small generator. You're moving that and wiring it to the bottom of the electrical input of this switch. This will be your on and off switch. From your on and off switch, your output will go over to the input power in of this electrical branch. And you're going to want as many branches as you put here is going to be equal to the amount of lasers you have. In this video I'm doing five, so I have five electrical branches, but theoretically this is just based off the amount of power you have, so you could have a whole bunch of these. That is based off what you want to do. Now the very first thing you're going to want to do after you set all five or however many branches you have is take all the power outs and put them into the power ins of the adjacent electrical branches like I have here. Connect them all and when you get to the end your last one is going to go into a splitter. Once you've gotten that far come back to each one of these and set it to five. That'll give you enough power to time, uh, power up your timer, your laser, and to your broadcaster. And then once that's done, you set all these to five, come back to the branch, and put every branch to the electrical input of the timers above it. So again, five timers for five lasers. This is where it can get a little confusing because you might have one go to the wrong spot. So just take your time, make sure you're kind of keeping it neat and orderly. This is a little messy here, but uh, the neater the better. Then you can keep track of where your wires are going. So again, take the branch out to the electrical input of your timers for the laser. Once that's all hooked up, come back down to the splitter. Your first output, wire it to the bottom of the electrical input of this switch. And this switch needs to be on at all times. You keep this switch on because you're going to have a loop here. This loop is going to continuously refresh these timers and make it possible so these laser grid or these lasers are always changing and they, they refresh themselves. So make sure you leave that on. Uh, your second output, you're going to have power the bottom of your timer here, your input here. And this last one is going over here to a splitter which is powering the alarm system. I'll show you that here in a bit. So once you got this splitter all set up, come back to your switch, take your output and run it into the input A of this OR switch. Then back to your timer. Your output from this timer you're going to have to run to the bottom of the power in of another electrical branch and this one is just set to two. From the electrical branch out you're going to want to run that down to input B of the OR switch and to finish the OR switch off you want the power out to run to this timer the toggle and set this timer to one second it has to be set to one second uh, that makes it so it's constantly refreshing this loop up here and continuously having the beams go from this laser. So now you have your loop set up. The last thing you need to do is take the power out from this electrical branch and run it to a electrical branch like over here, the power in. And this one you're going to set to 10. All this is going to do is split the power between these two splitters. So have two splitters up over here. Run your branch out to the first one and your power out to the second one, powering in these two. All these splitters are doing is you take the power out and running it into the toggles of all of your switches. This is based off of however many 
uh, lasers you have. In this case, I only need two splitters because I need five toggles, and I have an extra one. So run all of these power outs to the toggles of your timers. And this doesn't matter, you can connect these up in any way. The power output will be displaced evenly across the, uh, all the timers. So now you have basically all of your circuits set up for your lasers, and all you need to do is take the outputs and connect them to the inputs of all of your lasers down here. So you run your however many timers again you have to your laser detector input all across the line that you got. And then that's set up. And then um, just what I've done is I've kind of randomized my numbers. I have this refresh in one second and then I have uh, random numbers one through five in here. You can play with this and whatever you want to do, it's based off of your preference. You could have it run slowly. You could have it so it's like, you know, this is on, then this one, then that one, that one, that one. You just got to play with it a little bit. It's based off what you want to do. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the laser system. The last thing you need to do for this circuit over here is run all of your power outs from your laser into a broadcaster all across the line. So I, I have five lasers. Again, I need five broadcasters to transmit that signal out. And for this video, I've just used 500 on each one. So now you have your whole system set up for your lasers. It'll turn on and function, but it won't trip anything. So what you need to do is come over wherever you are. You can set this up anywhere as long as you got power. Uh, run power. For this video I have it running off of this splitter that I ran from this box earlier. So power to this broadcaster or uh, receiver, I'm sorry. Set your frequency the same as your broadcasters that are uh, in that circuit. And the power out from this I have set to the toggle of a timer and I just have this set at 10 seconds right now. You can set this to whatever you like and then the output to this light for this video. This can be a light, this could be an audio alarm, this could be whatever you like and then make sure you put power to uh, this as well from your splitter or your separate power source. And that's it. I know it's a lot but uh, just take your time. If you have questions or anything, just go back and check a step. It's a kind of a lengthy circuit to set up, and it's kind of a powerhouse. You need a good chunk of power to power this up, but it's still pretty neat. And there's a lot of uh, things you can do with this. Hope this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, have no problem with the commenting, and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. And thank you for watching.